Hi everybody, so today I want to talk about this really cool gadget that can really help us get easy access to our data on our hard drives. Now yes, a lot of us today have these two and a half uh, inch hard drives um, and they're very, very, very convenient of course, right? Uh, this one is a USB 3.01, uh, I think this is like a two terabyte one and these are really good. But there are a lot of times when we have, you know, the in, the um, um, internal hard drives like these and it would be really good if we can really get access to data on these without having to put them inside of a PC, install them, hook up all the cables. So, you know, wouldn't it be great if we had such a gadget that we can actually just dock these internal hard drives into and get access to the data. Well, introducing the Oracle. Um, this is uh, uh, a hard drive dock um, and you can actually put uh, 2.5 or 3.5 inch uh, SATA hard disk drives in these things um, and of course it connects back to your PC via USB uh, 3.0 cable um, and uh, yeah something called Oracle so let's uh, check this out in a bit more detail so here she is that's what she looks like and as I said it's USB 3.0 and uh, it can actually uh, hold 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch SATA hard drives and it's a dock right so it's designed for you to get easy access to your data on your internal hard drives and it really comes in handy if you do have a couple hard drives knocking around I have quite a few because I only have so many bays in my PC so I need to get access to stuff on my internal drives. This is the perfect gadget for it. So here's the dock. Let's look at this for a second. Well, let's see what else is in the box first. Ah, power supply. And the uh, USB cable, of course USB 3.0. And here you have some user manual, all right? I'm telling you about the drive, what's in there, and um, how to partition. So it tells you in, you have a hard drive dock, power adapter, USB cable, user's manual and service card. And it tells you um, how to install it. So you connect the dock to your computer and connect the adapter, turn it on. And um, it tells you how to partition your drives. Um, if it's larger than two terabytes, you do one thing. If it's less than two terabytes, you do another thing. And uh, of course, this does work for Mac as well. I forgot to mention that. So if you're a Mac owner, you can use these as well on your Macintosh computer. So it just tells you everything here, all the instructions, how to format, and things like that. So, this is what you get in the box. Power supply. USB cable. And the dock itself. There you go. Okay, so this is what you get. So, of course, we want to see this in a bit more detail. So, thank you. Power supply, you can go over there. Thank you, cable, you can go over there as well. So, it's a nice looking box designed to be on your desk and not look like a, a cheap piece of plastic. It actually does look like a a nicely designed dock. You have the Oracle logo there, Oracle leading technology, SATA HDD docking station there in plain English. Nothing on the sides here. The bottom, you have the nice rubberized feet, which is very important. You don't want this to slide off your desk and damage your hard drive. Um, and then it tells you here the size hard drives that you can hold through to 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch. And of course, it's USB 3. So at the back here, there's a USB 3 
connection and that's your DC um, port there for your adapter and your on off switch. Now the on off switch it's a press button switch it's not a rocking switch. All right, very simple mechanical switch and you hear the click when it's turned on. And um, of course your two and a half inch hard disk drive will fit in there and then you press this down and if you look you can then hold in your, your large three and a half inch drive but if you look closely there are your there are your ports that you find on your SATA you have your data and your power um, L, L shaped ports right there which are very so anybody's familiar with PCs and building PCs you know what these ports look like right there you go and it's a nice clean look and this is actually a spring door you let it go it opens up so here I have my MacBook here just as a reference point so you can see how easy it is to install this thing and here I have a one terabyte Barracuda internal drive I haven't formatted it yet so actually as you can see this is an, a SATA drive because it has the same power and data um, ports right there and these are male connectors obviously that will fit into the female connector in here alright so to use this the first thing you should do is you put your drive into the dock first right? So before connecting to any computers or any power, connect this like that. Make sure that the male ports are lined up there with our little port, female ports here in the corner. Just sideways so you can see like that. And it fits in place like that. Alright. And you just keep it upright. Like that. Right, so then what you do next is, here's your power supply. Before I plug this in, what I recommend you do, you get your data cable first. Let me just take the cable, the wire, wire tire off of it. And of course you plug it into your computer. So put your USB port inside here, like that. And you plug this into your dock here in the back. Like so, then you get your power supply and hook that in. Then you turn it on, and then you can actually see it, um, see it on your, you know, your Explorer, you know, your File Explorer on your PC. And then you can go ahead and then format the drive, and you can then start using it. So that's the setup in terms of cables and the, the steps. So step one: put the drive in the in the dock, then connect up your data cable to your computer. Then you connect your power, and then you turn it on. There's a, little, a switch at the back case I showed you here. Let's press this here to turn it on. There's the LED there, status LED. It tells you when it's reading and writing and all that. Um, and then you just use it, the hard drive on your computer like a normal external drive. So, okay, so I have my setup here. I have my, my uh, hard drive in the dock. I hooked to connect to the power. As you can see, there's an LED that's on. And I have my USB 3 connection here. I'm just going to put it inside of my uh, MacBook here. Now I have of course uh, Windows 10 as well installed on here so we're just looking at a Windows uh, disk management program. So I connected it as you can see. Light is now blue and the PC has uh, uh, detected the drive and there it is. So this is a one terabyte drive. So what I'm going to do now is right click on here. I should be able to just format it allocate this disk let's see here so let's go here right click initialize disk yes I want to initialize this disk before the disk manager can access it I don't want to set this up as a master boot record so yeah so now it's allocated and it's online now I simply right click I'm going to create a simple volume go into the volume wizard I want the maximum space allowed. Yes, give me the maximum. And assign drive letter D. Yeah, why the hell not? And let's just format this as NTFS. And let's do a quick format. And yes, finish. So there's formatted. So now I have a fully functioning drive. And it's here I can start to add my media, my videos, my pictures, whatever, do my backups directly onto this. Um, I would actually recommend 
and this is just me I won't just take it out like that when it's reading and writing because you know I'm just paranoid that way I would actually turn off the power switch on the back first and then I would then take the drive out um, out of the dock right some simple common sense so guys I hope you enjoyed that video so one other thing too um, these devices also come you can actually get these as, as doubles when I say double you can actually get two of these ports in one dock and that's really comes in really handy if you want to copy the entire contents of one drive to another you can just it's like a toaster right with two slots you just put both drives in the full one with the data and then the other one which is a blank one and then you can actually do full copies um, so anyway if you're interested in this um, check the link below this video uh, and you can learn more about the Oracle uh, dock and um, if you want to buy them as well you know you can buy them through that link as well um, and there's also a little bit more information on the double uh, the, the double port or I call it the toaster version of this with the two slots as well okay so until next time guys feel free to you know like this video if you like it if you have any questions feel free to ask me and um, yeah and don't forget to subscribe so until next time guys happy computing Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm gonna ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website, www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once. And, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have... You know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. And by subscribing... Of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.